at, at one time we, um, I met, uh, and I didn't know they still exist, and if, if it's offended, I'm not trying to, but they said they was hobos, train hoppers. Mm -hmm. And people don't realize that these people are still there. And I met a group of, a group of them on my way to Louisiana, and um, they was at the truck stop, and we stopped and we talked. And one of them, this guy, he had his doctorate. Mm -hmm. He was 32 years old. And he said, one day I just decided, like, hey, man, I want to see America. And he said, now he done been out here for like three years, mm -hmm. hopping train. Mm -hmm. But he allowed himself to say, okay, this is my inner bubble. These people around me, like you said, it's going to be drawn <laughs> because good is not nece necessary financial. Correct. Good is not necessary good looks. Good is is a happy feeling that you have, content in your vote. It's universal. Yes. That we have to actively push away. Right. Yes. So a person actively pushing away being good. That takes a lot of labor. And it takes a lot of influence from other people that actively push away good within and care. Why do you that's why we see so many, well, so little groups that give back freely, regardless of the cost. Yeah. They give back to communities, they hand coats out. You know, those could those entities are shrinking. Why? Because it's it's nonprofit. And people want to eat. Yeah, they want to eat, but some people use that to make profit. Yes. Right? Um, so one of the unique things about identifying that you're, you're not broken at all is the freedom of mind. Um, it's less voices in your head saying that, hey, look at this, look at this. You, you're not doing this and that, so you need to. And if you don't wake up with this focus doing these things... You're not actively participating in the broken con um, conditioned environment because, and you think about the hobos, right, that you talked about. It takes a lot of work and unrecognition, I think that's, I can use that, of self to participate in society today. Uh, because it, it moves so fast and is so unobligated to you. Um, and the analogy you say, the train, you know, the train is moving so fast. And if you don't jump on that condition and that following train, you're dismissed. Yes. And people will let you know that you're not about anything and your life is terrible because you can't get on the train. The golden carrot, right? Um, so I think a person, if they truly want to slow down for a moment, think about, you know, the bubble. Um, and, and what it talks about is that love yourself first. And you're going to find out you're not, it don't take much. Yeah. <laughs> and it's, it's, it's passionate love, too. And, but then when you look at the bubble and you have these people that's in your first mm -hmm. layer of the bubble. Now, these people in the first layer of the bubble, you were saying that these people should be in there and they should, you should be able to say any, ask them any questions yeah. and they shouldn't have any judgment. And when I read that, I was like, dude, human nature going to cost us no matter what. Like, if I ask you, hey man, why are you on a red shirt, a maroon shirt? Mm -hmm. To you, that may hurt your feelings. Mm -hmm. So, if, if, if I'm in your first layer and I ask you that and it hurts your, hurts your feelings, do you, am I asking you that in judgment? I'm not asking you that in judgment. I'm asking you because I want to know the question. So if, you, no if, you, if you're in my first layer, you ask me why I got a certain color shirt on. I'm, got, I'm thinking I did, didn't get the memo. Like, oh man. And you're looking out for me. <laughs> right? But if you're asking it because it's not fitting in to something I didn't know about before. It's not me, it's you. Wow. Well, yeah. Okay. Because I'm perfectly dressed. Yes. Because I'm, I'm dressing on the awareness of no standard. And it was not 
directed to me to do a certain thing. So hey, I just wore my clean shirt. 